It actually is no longer about believing that things will turn out for the best. It's entirely about trying to hold my family together, what remains of it. Ultimately, the only way to survive at this point is to have hope. So it gives a different spin on hope. It's hope or die. That children give us the courage to face life. Even when I'm childless, when all my children are scattered to the four winds, that's a moment when my husband needs me. His organizing principle is blasted out of the water. To take care of, to provide, to protect, he can do none of those things. And his body's breaking down. So he, in that moment, needs me in this same way. There's no reason I should be alive, and yet I am. And so is my daughter. And that means I have to keep going. When we first meet Mila, she is a, a new mother. I wouldn't say it seems like she has the most to lose because everyone has everything to lose, but she is dealing with having the massive responsibility of taking care of this innocent newborn. When I think of when I will be a mother, how will I make that creature live just by giving him food and making sure he sleeps enough? And then she had to do that and survive the most extreme thing. Helena helps in so many ways that she might think are small, but they help so many people along with her family. And I think Helena's natural role that kind of comes to her as like the matriarch and the overseer of all these things that are happening it made her grow up very quickly. And it also is a path that I think that she would never admit to herself that she's proud of. Um, and maybe she doesn't even feel proud of herself at all because she just wants to protect those that she loves. I think this show is an opportunity to see what Jews were up against in societies that they have been a part of their whole lives. I feel like everybody stepped to this with deep passion. That So I, I also feel like the show is a celebration of family. It's a celebration of life in the face of darkness.